Welcome to Medlacto. Today we are going to discuss anti-cancer drug, specifically alkylating agent. In the previous lectures, we have discussed lot of alkylating agents: cyclophosphamide, iphosphamide, carbamazepine, lomazepine, timozolamide, decarbazine. But now it's time to cover the alkylating agent. In this lecture, we will discuss specifically four alkylating agents: mechlorethamine, busulfan, malflan, chlorambucil. So. The common thing between all these drug, they are actually bifunctional alkylating agent. They are actually bifunctional. They are having two major functional group. So that's why they form the cross linking between the DNA molecule. Okay, that's the most important thing. They form the cross linking. between DNA molecule. That's the most important thing. Actually, alkylating agent having two categories, monofunctional and bifunctional. Monofunctional alkylating attack on single strands of the DNA, but the bifunctional will attach to both the uh, strands of the DNA and form the cross link. If I say that if you see here, like this way, here are basically the two strands of the DNA. Okay, and in that situation, you see, governing here is the governing, and here is the cytosine. And as you know that the governing and cytosine actually come across each other in the DNA strand. And other is the, if I say here is the uh, second G, and here is the C. Now this is the strands of two strands of DNA. Okay. Now in that situation, governing and governing, basically two governing. So in that situation, these drugs form the cross linking between the DNA strands. And ultimately, when you see the cross linking between the DNA, then you see the DNA cannot be replicate. So ultimately. DNA is very much important in the division of the cell and ultimately the cell will not divide. So it means that we can cure the cancer because in cancer cell rapidly divide. So we have to stop the division of the cell. If we cross link the DNA, then the DNA will not replicate and ultimately the cell will not divide and ultimately the division of the cell will stop. So that's the major mechanism between all these uh, drugs. Okay. So next most important thing about this drug is the nitrogen mustard. Nitrogen mustard, that is the most important. This is actually the vesicant. Nitrogen mustard are actually the vesicant. Blister formation. Vesicants are actually those compounds that cause severe burn to the skin and form the lot of blister over the surface of the skin. Watery blister. And that was severe pain. So that is actually, and it was actually used in the World War One in 1914 to 1918. That is the duration. World War One actually started in 1914 and ended in 1918. And lot of countries contribute in the World War One, like Germany, Russia, France. So lot of countries actually involved in World War One. So. In the World War One, nitrogen mustard was used. Okay. So here are basically the three most important nitrogen mustard: uh, mechlorethamine, malflan, and chlorambucil. So major uh, thing that is actually common in all the nitrogen mustard is this one. Center will be the nitrogen. Here is the thing, and at the both sides you will see the ethyl chloride. Here is the ethyl, and here is the chlorine atom. And at this side, you also see the ethyl chloride. So this is the most common thing that will be present in all nitrogen mustard. The difference will be the here. Here, different compounds can attach to this side. And they can form the derivative of the uh, nitrogen mustard. So that's the most important thing. So this is actually the basic mechanism of all these drugs that they form the cross-linking and stop the division of the cell. So, First one, if we discuss it one by one. So first is the mechlorethamine. 
in that that is actually used as a vesicant in the world war one in which you will see the lot of different groups different countries actually involved two groups uh, that fight against each other so that is actually used in world war one okay so actually what is the use of the maclorithamine so it is actually cause the leukocytopenia that's the most important thing it causes the leuco leukocytopenia it mean it reduce the wbcs so it can be used in the lymphatic system so that's the most important thing lymphatic cancer it can be used in the lymphatic cancer like hodgkin hodgkin lymphoma and non hodgkin lymphoma why because this hodgkin and non hodgkin lymphatic cancer white blood cell starts dividing so we have to stop the division of the uh, white blood cell so as the, this drug is actually cause the leukocytopenia reduce the wbcs so that's why they can be used in the lymphatic cancer that's the most important use of the uh, uh, maclorithamine so i will discuss the adverse effect what you will see the adverse effect so first one is the vasican causes severe burn and formation of the blister second is the myelosuppression myelosuppression again that is very much important you will see the uh, reduce in the productions of the uh, blood cell that is actually the myelosuppression you can also see the alopecia that is again very much important you will see the loss of the hair and you can also see the general symptoms like nausea vomiting and diarrhea next is the malflan so malflan is actually used in the treatment of multiple myeloma that is again the most important thing multiple multiple myeloma that is actually the cancer of the plasma plasma cells plasma cell actually plasma cells form the antibodies so anti bodies so that's the most important thing why do we call it multiple because it causes a severe symptoms and it uh, deposit at uh, different parts of the body so plasma cell if the uh, you see the cancer in the plasma cell you will see the productions of the a lot of antibodies and plasma cell actually accumulates maybe accumulate in the bone marrow and suppress the productions of the other blood cell as well like white blood cell uh, white blood cell red blood cell and platelets so in that situation platelets monitoring is platelets and the white blood cell monitoring is also very much important and you will monitor it with the help of the cbc report so again that is the very much important cbc because in cbc you will see the uh, white blood cell red blood cell and the platelets okay that's the most important thing if we discuss the adverse effect so in the adverse effect you will say first one is the most common is the myelosuppression myelosuppression suppressions of the bone marrow and ultimately you will see the suppressions of the uh, blood cell formations and you can see the hypersensitivity type 4 reaction they can also call hyper sensitivity in case of type 4 in case of malflan usage it is actually cell mediated or delay hypersensitivity reaction it is in which you will see the type cytotoxic cells and the macrophages activated and uh, engulf the different uh, cells and the pathogens so that is actually hypersensitivity type 4 reactions okay and you can also see the muco Citus, inflammations of the GIT, uh, tongues, uh, esophagus. So, this is actually the mucositis. Next is the chlorambucil. Chlorambucil is actually used in the chronic lymphocytic leukemia. That is the most important, or you can say CLL. This is the use of chlorambucil. Because, as we know, that the if I say here that hemo, hemopoietic stem cell form two things first is the myeloid lineage and second is the lymphoid lineage in the myeloid you will see acute myelogenous leukemia and chronic myelogenous leukemia 
and in the lymphoid you again see the uh, acute lymphocytic leukemia and chronic lymphocytic leukemia so here are basically the different things so this is actually the chronic lymphocytic leukemia it will affect the lineage white blood cell lineage because in myeloid you will see the platelets and the uh, red blood cell and the, in the lymphoid lineage you will see the wbc is affect so in that situation that will affect the chronic lymphocytic leukemia that's the most important uses of the chloramphenicillin and if we discuss the adverse effects so again that's the most important that is actually common in lot of uh, anti cancer drug that is myelosuppression again that is again very much important okay in that situation you can also see the skin rash on the skin that is also the adverse effect of the skin rash and you can see the hyperuricemia high level of uric acid in the blood hyperuric Semia. Okay. And last most important is the pulmonary fibrosis. And that can ultimately go towards the cirrhosis as well. So this is actually the adverse effects of the chlorambucil. And last is the busulfan. So busulfan is actually used in the chronic myelogenous leukemia. That is actually the myeloid lineage. So chlorambucil is actually the lymphoid lineage chronic state and busulfan is actually the myeloid lineage chronic myelogenous leukemia that's again the very much important use of the busulfan and if we discuss the adverse effects so adverse effect will be the similar myelo suppression okay that's it. skin rash skin rash and you can also see the pulmonary fibrosis or you can also say in that situation you can also say the busulfan lungs in that situation okay and you can also see the hepatotoxicity as well so important thing which you have to remember about all these drugs is that they can cause the they are actually leukemogenic they can cause the leukemia as well so that's very quite amazing that they uh, they actually use in the treatment of the cancer and they can also cause the cancer as well so that's the most important thing these drug cancer drugs used in the treatment of cancer but they can also cause the secondary cancer as well so this is the very much important thing which you have to remember about the anti cancer drug so if you still have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much